grade 7 math number 1.3b subtracting integers word problems all right so do you remember integers are whole numbers and they're opposites not fractions or decimals they got to be whole numbers like counting numbers and they're opposite so if you have a negative 6 is opposite is a positive 6 together they make a zero pair you add them together and they equal zero if you have negative 6 and you add a positive 6 you're at zero right it's a zero pair they're buddies all right, so remember when we subtract integers, we add the opposite. That's what we did in our last video, number 1.3a. So to subtract these integers in this word problem, we need to add the opposite when we get the equation. So here we go. Here's our first word problem. Emma started on a hike that began negative 225 feet below sea level in a canyon. When she reached the end of her hike, she was still below sea level at negative 127 feet. What was the change in elevation from the beginning of the hike to the end of the hike? All right, so we have to think. She started at negative 225, right? The elevation increased and went up, but it was still in the negative, right? Negative 127. And we need to find the difference in elevation. See? What was the change? What was the difference? So change means difference. What was, how did it, you know, differ? How did it change? So that tells me that it's going to be a subtraction problem on top of the fact that the topic of this video is subtracting integers. So you know it's going to be a subtraction problem. And we've got negative 225, and we're going to take away the negative 127. But remember, we add the opposite. So the negative 127 becomes a positive 127, and we add the opposite. So this minus sign becomes a plus sign. And we end up with negative 225 plus a positive 127. Well, now the signs are different. They have different signs. So if you know the rule from the previous videos, when they have different signs and we're adding them, we find the difference. So 225 take away 127 is 98. The difference is 98. But what sign do we use? Is it positive or negative? Remember, the 225 is farther from the zero, so the answer gets its negative sign. We look at the absolute value of the 225 and the 127 and say which one is farther from zero. Doesn't matter if it's a negative or positive, just which one's farther from zero. Well, 200, 225 is farther from zero, and it's got a negative sign, so our answer is going to have a negative. And we found our answer negative 98 feet okay we can even label it if we want to do a real good job because it is feet right so we should always label things with degrees or whatever okay the record high january temperature in austin texas is 90 degrees fahrenheit the record low january temperature is negative two degrees fahrenheit find the difference between the high and low temperatures all right so let's think the high temperature was 90 degrees. The low was negative 2. It says to find the difference. Well, and this is a subtraction video. So we know we have to write a subtraction problem. But it does say find the difference. And that tells us, because difference is the answer in a subtraction problem, that it is going to be a subtraction problem. Okay? So we've got 90 degrees, and we need to take away a negative 2. All right? In fact, we don't even need the degrees at this point. We could put it on at the end. We just have a 90 minus negative 2. So remember, we add the opposite. So this minus sign is going to become a plus sign, and this negative 2 is going to become a positive 2. So now we have 90 plus 2. Well, shoot, that's easy. We did that in second grade. 90 plus 2 is 92, right? That's the difference in degrees Fahrenheit. And we added the opposite. Now, my little six is still dizzy from the last video, so we're going to help him out, okay? So here's the temperature, okay? Here's zero, and it was 90 degrees. So in between zero and 90 degrees is 90 degrees, right? And then below zero, the negative two is one, two degrees below zero. If we add the 90 degrees to the two degrees that it is below zero, we get 92, See, little six, it's not that hard. Okay, so a scientist conducted an experiment and recorded the temperature of a gas that was being heated. 
if the initial temperature was negative 21 degrees Celsius and the final temperature was negative 8 degrees Celsius, write a difference of integers of the change in temperature. So, yes again, I know this is a subtraction video, so you know the equation is going to be a subtraction, but it says write a difference of integers, and that tells me it's a subtraction equation, okay? So if you come up against something like this and you don't have something that says this is going to be a subtraction video problem, you know it's a subtraction one because difference is the, what you call an answer in a subtraction problem. It's called a difference. Just like when you're adding, it's called a sum. In subtraction, it's called a difference. So that right there tells you it's going to be a subtraction problem. Okay? little clue word. So we need to write a difference of integers of the change in temperature. So we think, okay, in the beginning, the temperature was negative 21, right? And the final temperature was negative 8. And it's a subtraction problem that we need to find the difference of the integers. So it says write a difference of integers. It means a subtraction problem. All right, so we've got negative 21 minus negative 8. But remember to add the opposite. So this minus sign is going to become a plus sign, and that minus 8 is going to become a plus 8. Now we've got negative 21 plus 8. And what do we do when the signs are different? We've got a negative 21 and a positive 8 now. We find the difference because the signs are different. And 21 take away 8 is 13. So we know it's a 13, but what sign do we use? Ah, which one has a higher absolute value? Which one has a greater absolute value? Which one is farther away from 0 on the number line? 21 or 8? the 21, and it's got a minus sign, so we know the answer has a minus sign. See, it's not that bad. See, even the little 6 is starting to get it, okay? So remember, to subtract an integer, we add the opposite of the integer. And if two add-ins have different signs, we apply the rules for adding integers with unlike signs, we find the difference of their absolute values and use the sign of the integer with the largest absolute value. You know, the integer that's farthest from 0. That's the sign that we use. Are you starting to get this? I know. It can be really confusing. But I think if we keep going, you're going to go, oh my gosh, there's a light bulb going on over my head. Where'd that come from? All right? I'll see you next video. Bye.